Hello everyone, welcome to this beginner's guide to plumbing technology. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to 20 basic plumbing tools, materials, and equipment. I'll also explain how each one works. Whether you are new to plumbing or just curious, this video will give you a solid foundation. Pipe wrench. How it works. The wrench has two serrated jaws, one fixed and one adjustable. When the handle is pulled, the movable jaw tightens against the pipe. Because the teeth bite into the metal surface, friction is created. The harder you pull, the greater the torque applied, allowing you to turn or loosen pipes. Adjustable Spanner Crescent Wrench It has one fixed jaw and one movable jaw. The movable jaw slides on a worm screw spiral shaft. Rotating the worm screw increases or decreases the jaw opening, allowing it to grip nuts and bolts of different sizes. Torque applied through the handle turns the nut. Pipe Cutter a sharp circular wheel presses against the pipe surface. As the handle is tightened, the wheel digs deeper. By continuously rotating the cutter around the pipe, the wheel scores a groove until the pipe is separated. This method produces a clean, square cut with little deformation. Hacksaw. The hacksaw blade has many fine teeth angled forward. During the forward stroke, teeth cut into the pipe's surface by abrasion. The backward stroke lifts slightly to avoid friction. Repeated motion gradually removes material until the pipe is cut through. Plunger. The rubber cup forms an airtight seal around a drain opening. When you push down, air and water are forced into the pipe, increasing pressure. When you pull up, a vacuum is created, sucking back. This pressure vacuum cycle loosens blockages and pushes them through the drain line. Teflon tape PTFE tape. The tape is made of polytetrafluoroethylene PTFE, which is soft and non-stick. When wrapped around pipe threads, it fills tiny gaps and irregularities. This prevents water or gas from leaking. Because PTFE has low friction, it also helps threads tighten more smoothly. Pipe threading machine. The machine holds the pipe firmly while rotating a die head around its surface. The die has cutting edges shaped like screw threads. As it rotates, it cuts grooves, threads, into the pipe end. These threads allow the pipe to be screwed into fittings. Pipe vise. A pipe vise has V-shaped jaws that grip pipes firmly when tightened with a screw or clamp. The friction between the jaws and pipe prevents slipping. By immobilizing the pipe, it allows safe cutting, threading, or welding. Basin wrench. This tool has a long shaft and a pivoting jaw. The spring-loaded jaw grips onto nuts in tight spaces, such as under sinks. When you rotate the handle, the pivoting head transfers torque to the nut, loosening or tightening it even in awkward angles. Plumber's torch. The torch mixes fuel gas, propane, butane, with air. When ignited, combustion produces a high-temperature flame. This flame is applied to copper pipes and fittings, heating them until solder melts. The solder flows into the joint by capillary action, sealing it when cooled. Pipe bender. A pipe is placed between rollers or a bending shoe. By applying leverage through the handle, the pipe is forced to curve gradually. The roller supports prevent flattening or kinking. This allows smooth bends while maintaining the pipe's diameter. Measuring tape. The tape is a flexible steel strip marked with graduations. It coils inside a spring-loaded housing. When extended, it straightens, when released, the spring rewinds it. Measurements are taken by aligning the graduation with the pipe or surface length. Spirit level. The spirit level contains a sealed tube with liquid, alcohol, and an air bubble. The tube is slightly curved. When placed on a surface, gravity pulls the liquid down, positioning the bubble at the highest point. If the bubble centers between the two marks, the surface is level or plumb. Auger, plumber's snake. A long, flexible steel coil is pushed into a pipe. As you rotate the handle, the coil spins inside the drain. The sharp tip either drills into the clog or grabs it. Continued pushing and rotating either breaks the clog apart or pulls it out. Pipe reamer. When pipes are cut, sharp burrs form at the edges. The reamer has sharp, angled blades that are rotated inside the pipe opening. As it turns, the blades shave off burrs, leaving the inside smooth. This ensures fittings can seal properly. Pipe fittings, elbows, tees, couplings. Elbows change fluid direction by redirecting flow at an angle, usually 45 degrees or 90 degrees. Tees split one flow into two or merge two into one. Couplings join two pipe sections together. 
They work by guiding water through controlled paths, maintaining pressure and flow. Plumber's putty. Plumber's putty is soft and moldable. When pressed between two surfaces like a sink flange and basin, it spreads to fill microscopic gaps. This forms a watertight barrier. Because it remains flexible, it resists cracking as the fixture expands or contracts. Chisel and hammer. The hammer strikes the flat end of the chisel. The sharp edge of the chisel concentrates force onto a small area of concrete, brick, or tile. This breaks the material into small chips, creating channels for pipes. Safety gear gloves, goggles, boots. Gloves protect by distributing pressure from sharp edges and preventing cuts. Goggles shield eyes from flying debris or sparks. Boots with reinforced toes absorb impact from heavy objects. They work by creating a physical barrier between the body and hazards. 20. Water pump pliers, channel lock pliers. These pliers have a slip joint mechanism with multiple grooves. By adjusting the pivot, the jaws can open to different widths. The angled jaws grip flat, round, or hexagonal surfaces. Applying leverage multiplies your hand force, allowing you to hold or twist objects securely.